you have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor. That didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. That's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Let's find someone that compliments your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup? Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home, We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. All right. What do you think? I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. <laughs> Should we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? The snoozer is definitely a better fit. Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who'd listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. Are you ready for the retired life, or are you just waiting for someone to believe in you again? Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Ready to go meet the rest of the new team? Well, welcome to the van. This is Chomper. He's a city pup, but he's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. It sounds like you weren't too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. Well, I'm more than willing to defer to you if your instincts are sharp. I trust that you're a smart pup, Noodle. And I need help with more than running. But you can't just lay down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. 
And once we're home, I'll build you a nice little den with a perfect nap zone. How's that sound? <laughs> All right, you're right. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of us. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills, or just because I can't pass up a pup. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well... Take care, Bodega. Okay, so far so good. Two pups out of the three stops is a great start. We only need to adopt two more dogs, and we have five more stops. I think we'll be okay. Dear God, your eyes are blue. They're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. It seems like you've got a nice thing going here. Enjoy, buddy. We're starting a new life. We have to be a little bit picky. I want to make sure we have a well-rounded team. So we've got four more stops to find our last two pups. That should work. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the, uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey, team. I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us. Well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chopper. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chopper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there. But you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. I don't know what's gonna be out there. I know what I've read and what's likely to happen, but if the past few years have taught me anything, it's that I can only plan to be surprised. Jumper? You approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Y you mind if I give you a pet? Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. We're nearly a complete pack! Only one more pup and the team is done, and we still have three more to meet. Oh, this is gonna be a hard decision. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gail, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. Hmm. 
Well, you really want that window open. Do you always need the wind in your fur? Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Yeah, who knows what's out there. Snow, for sure. And plenty of running. But I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? We've got a pretty good team assembled so far. Some speed, some strength, some smarts. I think we just might be all right. <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element, never let that wind leave your fur. I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's uh, not as helpful as I'd like, but it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Barkley, Gail, Finn, Noodle, and the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, mush on. Now out here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So let's go. Caribou, we appreciate you. Now for the part I like less. I'll meet you back at the sled pups. 
Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. Another meal ready to go. Two bullets left, team. Let's go, Chopper. We've got a chance at a meal, pups. Leave it. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go. Ha! Finn, what do you smell, girl? Is there something worth checking out up there? What you tracking, girl? Oh, Finn, get out of there! <sighs> Previous owners warned us. But hey, you followed your nose, and it could have been something amazing. We'll try again sometime. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. All right, let's mush on. I know it didn't work out this time, Finn, but I trust what you can find. You've got a nose that shows you far more than I can see. And you're probably used to smelling like skunk by now. Should we camp? We uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Fire would be nice. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. Ready for pets, Barkley? Food time! Chow down, pups! I'm ready to cook some food. Back on the trail? Let's get back out there. Rabbit's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Something big is tracking you. 
You are not very good bait. You didn't even move. What are you even eating? It's just snow. Wait, am I the bait? All right, Chomper. On my call, you get to... All right, leave it, Chomper. All right, let's go. I'm back. Let's be safe out there. Those look like birch up ahead. We could use those to start a fire. Are you both birch? I did not learn the proper mnemonic devices for tree recognition. Well, Margot told me to rip off the bark from birch, and only one of these looks to have rippable bark, and the others are supposed to be aspen, I think. They don't burn as well, but they look a lot like birch from afar. I'll consider myself lucky we have both here. Dear God, Ugh. you're supposed to be like paper. Come here. Okay, so that works up an appetite. But hey, we're not gonna freeze. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. This birch will really help. Ready to go? Certain I read that owls are good omens. Or wait. Sounds pretty good to me. What do you pups think? Eh, all it is. Let's go, Noodle. Ah, oh, good omen. That's what we needed, team. What do we think it'll lead us to? So we've some birch. It's a good start. I've never seen an owl this close before. So, what omen do you portend, huh? We can't go back. We haven't done anything yet. If I go back now, I'll have failed. Again. And Chomper is ready to run. He's hungry for competition among... Other things. You're probably not gonna eat through the gang line and run off into the woods, are you, buddy? Right? Right? Stop corn cob biting the gang line! Not to self. Double wrap the gang line near Jumper. Oh, was that a gift? Bones, bones, bones. Right. It's just. Full of bones. At least someone's eating well out here. Hey, pups. I think we're done here. Let's go. Noodle? Should I be scared? What is that? Oh, hello. My call, you're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold, hold, okay, go! Sheesh, 
Y'all are great at catching these birds. Maybe we shouldn't try to have chickens at our new home. Huh, I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. You all look very full. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. Let's be safe out there. Now what? trigger. Huh! I hit it! And it's still fine. Great. You'll hit this caribou. You will kill this caribou. I, I missed? I shot right at it! Right. I was warned this gun was a little off. God, I'm gonna miss that bullet. And my dinner. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. We don't need bullets to survive. Let's go, Chopper. Let's look for a good spot to camp. Should we camp? Take a break, pups. I don't need it. I don't need it. A fire would be nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. I'm ready to cook some food. I'm ready to cook some food. Back on the trail? Let's get back out there. You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just have to make it past some more trees, and snow, probably some more snow, and then we'll be there. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. We might already be out of food, but I I'm sure we'll be fine. And we probably don't need any more bullets. And somebody hid bullets out here, right? And it's been really nice not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but we're really doing this. We're, I, I mean, I I'm becoming a musher. Like, a real one. I think Margo would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. We're making progress. We should be there soon enough. Oh, hey! A, uh, a little wolf friend. It's okay, you can stay over there. We don't mind. Mush, mush! <laughs> Barkley! We've gotta do something. Just stay back, Barkley. It's okay, we've got this. We did it. Are you okay, buddy? He got you pretty good. Belly rubs first. I'm not hurting you, right, bud? You did good, Barkley. Really good. 
should think about trying to scare things away before you have to use your teeth sometime. You're pretty intimidating. But let's get back to the sled, okay? I need to try to heal you up. It's okay. Get in the sled. You don't need to run right now. I think we're done here. Let's go. I thought things were going to plan. I really did, but now... I'm not so sure. Wolves are following us around. This might be too much for us. But how do you know when something is actually for you? Our instincts have gotten us this far. Look at what we've already done. Tree stumps over there. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, there's an axe here. Well, should I try this out? Seems to be plenty of birch here. I am just going to, uh, take this. It opens locks, strips bark, hits things. The first and best multi-tool. I really should have packed an axe instead of waiting to get one at the cabin. It's far more useful with me than not. Oh well, I've got one now. Well, should I try this out? Seems to be plenty of birch here. It's so much easier than ripping this off by hand. Looks like we're done here. Thanks for waiting, pups. This birch will really help. Let's go, Chopper. Hmm. Let's go... I'm feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. Ah! Ah! A nightmare. Okay, well, at least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh, God. Yeah, we, uh, we really need to take care of ourselves out there. We've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? Okay, I just have to be prepared. And hope the world is on my side. That little nightmare reminded me to pack our axe to strip those birch trees. It's a good thing we have an overactive imagination. We know what we're up against. Well, we can imagine what we're up against. Huh, chops. <laughs> so let's go. 
Let's get out there and live wildly. Live the life that feels true to us. Right, uh, the cabin's supposed to be... We've got an axe to help us get some wood. I think we're ready to go. Uh, mush on! Looks like we found some birch trees. I'm not even gonna break a sweat. Okay, that was even easier than I expected. Didn't make me ravenous either. The pups do okay? We can start a fire at camp now. Let's be safe out there. It's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Go do your thing, bun. Hmm. Let's go. Ha! Huh! Finn, what do you smell, girl? Is there something worth checking out up there? What you tracking, girl? Oh, Finn, get out of there! <sighs> Previous owner's warrant. We'll try again sometime. Thanks for waiting, pups. All right, let's mush on. I know it didn't work out this time, Finn, but I trust what you can find. You've got a nose that shows you far more than I can see. And you're probably used to smelling like skunk by now. Fork in the road. Where to? Can you actually find food like that? And to think it just knows how to do this. Just knows how to survive. We could all be so lucky. some serious patience. Okay, maybe you don't have this.
Hey, pups. Let's go, Chomper. We'll make a camp at the next safe spot. <sighs> okay, so maybe we shouldn't take lessons from foxes. We can't just give up, right? Should we camp? Take a break, pups. A fire would be nice. Okay, just a little birch ball. I'm ready to... Good time. Chow down, pups. Get back on the trail. I think we're done here. Let's go. Fork in the road. Where to? Is that a... Ugh, skunk. Is that a squirrel up there? Why is it running so... Oh, it's a weasel. Where did it go? I can only see a tree. Ah, there you are. You're not very good at hiding. My pups haven't learned to climb yet, so you're safe up there. I'm back. Let's go, Chomper. Now what? Ha! Oh, you pups see that? It's a caribou. Just stay there. Did you really have to run away after I hit you? I could have tried again if you'd stayed here. You know, put you out of your misery, I guess. But... Or maybe I'll find you again so I can balance things out on my own. Okay, I'm back. Three bullets left. Let's go, Chomper. Here, what should we do? Just have to, you know, adjust for wind, distance, that a uh, physics arcing thing. What was that? A parabola? Is that right? Come on, back to present. Okay, it's just a little further away. Time to take our chance. Holy hell, I made that shot? I'm gonna pretend that wasn't just luck. 
definitely my innate abilities coming to the surface. We all have to find our true selves. Mine just happens to be one with the wilderness. I'm comfortable out here, even when I'm scared out of my mind. And now to get that bounty. Pups, we're in for a treat. The pups do okay? Another meal ready to go. I wouldn't mind a snack. All right, we've got two bullets. Let's be safe out there. Let's take a break. This is a good spot to rest. A fire would be nice. Okay, just a little... Ah, oh, come here, buddy. I'm ready to cook some food. Food time! Chow down, pups. Ready for pets, Barkley? Get back on the trail? Let's be safe out there. Let's go. Gee! You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. But we're making our way. We might already be out of food, but I I'm sure we'll be fine. somewhere nearby. <laughs> so just a run by moose smacking to make sure I know where I am, huh? I think I just have to risk the bad luck. Let's be safe out there. Let's go. Ha! I thought things were going to plan. I really did. The moose rushed right at us. We only barely made it out okay. We're alive. We're together. That's what I wanted, right? To feel alive. To figure out what I could actually handle. Let's go. Gee! I don't know if I'll ever feel comfortable running on top of water. Doesn't look like you pups like it much either. There's something up ahead. Is that a fish wreck? I suppose a river is a good spot for it. I wonder when someone last fished here. It doesn't look like this has held fish in forever. There's a fishing pole still here. I mean, I left it for a reason. I left a perfectly good couch on the street, hoping it would serve someone else well. This is probably one of those situations. Maybe they carved free into the dirt, but the snow is covering it. So I can always bring this back later. This can certainly be put to better use than as decoration. Maybe I should try it out here? 
And now we wait. Is this how I finally learn patience? Or not. I think I like fishing. Time to get back out there. That was worth it. We've got some more meat. All right, let's. I can't leave you like this. Sorry I didn't do a great job to start. More food. Might be time to have a meal. Only one bullet left. At least we've already got some food. Let's get back out there. Let's take a break. This looks pretty good. We don't have anything to make a fire. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? Maybe we should eat. Time. Chow down, pups. Might be time to get well, shall we? All right, everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail. Let's get back out there. belong to, but we'll take what we can find. A bullet will do just fine. Hey, pups. All right, we've got two bullets. Let's get back out there.
coming to the forest would pay off. Looks like we have a loaned birch tree up ahead, pups. Time to make quick work of you. That's so much easier than ripping this off by hand. Looks like we're done here. I'm back. We can start a fire. We'll be... All right, let's mush on. Let's take a break. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. Maybe we should eat. The fire would be nice. Okay, just a little birch bark, a little spark, and behold, fire. I'm ready to cook some food. Get back on the trail. All right. Let's mush on. We're making progress. Ha! What do you smell? Okay, so we've got someone's meal. Let's just wait. I think it's worth a risk. We might get a free meal. Oh, okay then. I shouldn't press my luck more than I already have. Let's collect the meat and get back to the sled. Well, that was worth it. We've got some more meat. This is our last bullet. At least we've already got some food. Let's get back out there. Let's look for a good spot to camp. You pups see that? I think it might be time to get us some food. Good boy. Can you believe this? It's a herd of caribou. A week ago, we had to be impressed by a flock of pigeons. What do you say, buddy? Time to get back on the trail. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Hey, pups. All right, let's mush on. Let's take a break. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. We don't have anything to make a fire. Food time! Chow down, pups! You did good out there. I don't mind you found a skunk. I trust you, Finn. You can trust me. But you still smell a little. Yeah. 
my noodle. This feeling more exciting to you? Yeah, okay, let's just get some scratches in. Right, I'm just here to pet you. Understood. Get back on the trail? All right, let's mush on. Getting there. Gee! Hey, a bunny! Come on, Chopper. You don't need to go after more prey. Bad ideas. You already have one, don't you? What in the... I'm really thankful you're not hunting me right now. Your self-defense mechanism is more powerful than I thought. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, I can taste it. Um, I'm gonna puke. Chomper, get me out of here! Get me out of here, pups! The pups do okay? Let's go, Chomper. Looks like we're getting there. Let's set up camp as soon as we can. Uh, what was that? Chomper, was that you? Okay, I heard it again. Did you make that sound? Right then. Uh, so what does that mean, exactly? I pretty much assume all animal calls are either warnings or mating calls. Considering I'm not a deer, are you warning me or others? Or is this a warning of self? You're right. I have become the danger for you. I've been so focused on not failing. I'm not sure if I've kept sight of what I want. If I get to the end, but I've given up everything about who I thought I was, then what? Hey, pups. Let's be safe out there. Let's take a break. Take a break, pups. Maybe we Food time! Chow down, pups! Get back on the trail? Ready to go? Well, a nightmare, but that's how you prepare. 
Imagine the worst that can happen so you know how it feels, so you can steal yourself and make a different choice when you wake. I know it's crazy, but we find ourselves in challenges. You know, like, you've all been waiting to get back out there and run, and soon enough we'll be racing again, finding our joy in the unknown. I know what to be wary of.